how metal legal system so in rheumatic what i told is in mitral stenosis rheumatic heart disease is the most common first second third if you ask me it is most common but in mitral legal system it may not be the first but definitely again rheumatic cause is most common other is like congenital like degenerative vigomatous bulb endomyocardial fibroelastosis mitral annular calcification some popular muscle dysfunction in ischemic heart disease and in infective endocarditis you can see the carcinoid syndrome some radiation sle tired drug therapy uh, so in mitral degeneration what happen if you see this is the mitral valve why mitral degeneration occur if the valve will not coapt not close then definitely degeneration will occur this causes are many if there is calcification there is fibrosis there is thrombus there is trauma and some fix fixing of the valve basically there is dip, uh, difficulty in coaptation coaptation of the valve so it may be in the papillary muscle level it may be in cardi level or in the valvular level another one is mitral valve prolapse how prolapse if you see there is two one is enteromitral leaflet another one is posteromitral leaflet if one leaflet is prolapse not coaft so definitely what happens so there will be leak from the valve and again again it little bit presentation is little bit different you heart i told in mitral stenosis the most uh, commonly patient painted with dyspnea here the most common paint is the fatigue ability patients because of the mitral degeneration the cardiac output will be low patient will painted with the weakness fatigue ability and once patient having severe mitral degeneration dilatation of the left atrium left ventricle lv dysfunction then patients when there is compliance lv compliance will be very poor and not able to manage the lv pressure then the lv pressure will be increases again pulmonary venous pressure will be increases then a pa pressure will be increases the patient will be symptomatic but in acute mitral degeneration patients left atrial pressure is not able to coap so immediately patients went into pulmonary arrest just imagine in a simply a patient having acute mitral degeneration and patients with chronic mitral degeneration chronic mitral degeneration so lead to failure when there is lv dysfunction there is severe mitral degeneration pressure of the la is not able to compliant then it works but in acute mitral degeneration the patients immediately went into acute pulmonary arrest so these are the common symptom like hypotentolerance fatigue ability and if you feel the uh, pulse either like in mitral stenosis it can be uh, absent reduced but usually it is a rapid uh, rise and fall and here what happens you can find the apex is forceful diffuse and outward and impulse is constant what happens here first start sound is soft already we saw in uh, already have described in mitral stenosis first start sound loud here what happen first start sound is soft and pulmonary component is p2 is loud because of the pa pressure is increased and sometimes we find s3 which is very they are extremely or not in mitral uh, uh, in mitral stenosis so again if you will see from diagnosis we have to basic like uh, ecg x ray and echocardiogram again here also echocardiogram is the treatment of choice it is gold standard you can know the morphology of the valve morphology of the uh, muscles papillary cordy and you can see the uh, coaptation the prolapse again you can see the la dimensions and the left ventricular functions the lv dimensions everything you can know and the pulmonary artery pressure from the echo you can see the mitral degeneration 
and you have to see from the mitral degeneration jet whether it is mild, moderate, or severe. And after fibrillation, is the commonest complication: pulmonary hypertension, LV dysfunction, and inferior endocarditis. Here you can find inferior endocarditis may be a cause. That means suppose a patient is having mitral valve disease, inferior endocarditis, mitral degeneration, or in mitral degenerations lead to inferior endocarditis. So treatment, uh, medical treatment, you have to give antibiotic prophylaxis, S inhibitor, and beta blocker. And in surgical, here there are many methods came. Surgical and some uh, percutaneous also. But uh, first I will deal with the surgical. Like here, what happens? Either you can repair the valve or you have to replace the valve. There are only two methods. How you will repair? So uh, when there is uh, no, uh, basically when there is a pliable leaflets and normal body and papillary muscles, then there is a question of mitral repair. Another one is ring annuloplasty. The role of ring annuloplasty is to correct, to prevent further annular dilatation. Increase leaflet coaptation, reinforce annulus following repair, keep tension of fragile suture lines, and restore the size shape of the valve. You can see the valve annuloplasty.